What's going on everyone? It's Dell Jr. 2 back here with another YouTube video. And the 11th inning is official. It's finally here. So for the 11th inning, there's a whole bunch of content. It's pretty much old bosses that you can get again. So just as an example, at 70 stars, you can choose Brian Roberts, Tom Seaver, or Adam Dunn. And then at 150, you can choose Boggs, Steve Bedrosen, or Jonathan Scope, and so on and so forth. Like, so just as an example, if you picked Hanley Ramirez, you can go with Joe Carter or Bob Feller. So I feel like these packs are really nice just because if there were like two bosses from an inning that you wanted to get, you can get it like so just as an example i might try out this brian roberts card because it has high contact high speed and not really good power but against righties decent power if he's prestiged so in the fourth inning we have ted williams chris archer and ryan braun and then also king felix joe tory and ellsbury so like here i'm probably going to get this felix her Hernandez card and try it out For the fifth inning you have Jose Alvarado Floyd Bill Mazeroski, so I would probably go with Alvarado, but I'm not sure if I would use that card and then you also have Mo Big Poppy or Walker so here I, I'm really looking forward to this one because I'm gonna go with Larry Walker here because I wanted to try this card for a while so it looks like great contact great power and also decent speed for a right fielder and he can play anywhere in the outfield it's just right now my outfield I feel like is just so crowded for the sixth inning we have Denny Martinez Seeger and this Monte Irvin card this Seeger card I hit pretty well with 267 in 131 at bats for the sixth inning, you have Greg Maddox, Stan the Man, and J-Roll. Honestly, here, I kind of want to try both Greg and J-Roll. So, I'm thinking for this one, maybe I get, like, J-Roll, and then I just buy Greg Maddox, but we'll see what I do there. For the seventh inning, we have Sergio Romo, Mark Burley, or Matt Carpenter. One thing that I do like, though, is you still get those um, henchmen, so the ones that you you see it at 150 stars and then you still choose the big boss so like here honestly here i'm not sure who i would go with because i tried this brace card didn't really do too well with it so maybe i go with walter but i feel like his wind up is just so long so we'll see who i go with there i, I still have plenty of time for the eighth inning you have ian anderson sean murphy and mitch keller for this one i would probably go with Ian Anderson and then we have Pudge Cobb and Kershaw I absolutely ball out with this Ty Cobb card 187 at bats and I'm batting 326 with him so I might go with Kershaw and then for the ninth inning you have Kimbrel blue or Finley so I would go with blue I might get this blue card before that though just because you got that at 850 stars. And then you got Honus, Kenley, or Fox. I sold Fox. So maybe I get Fox again. It looks like his price is still expensive. But I'm sure as time goes on, that price will go down. And then for the 10th inning, you get Mackenzie Gore, Kiner, or Miller. I'm surprised you don't get the big boss for the 10th inning and then last but not least you got this Griffey card and so far I'm hitting 212 with him so I'm gonna lock him in I actually also locked in these finest series cards all you have to do is 12 and then you get plus 20 stars so this is the first time I've ever got a voucher I'm pretty sure 
So let's go into collections 11th inning. See, I don't even know what to do because I've never done it before. Okay, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that voucher because I'm not sure how to do it because quite frankly, I've never done it. So I'm gonna figure that out after this video. But on top of that, there's this time limited pack of 10 days, 11 hours. It contains one finest choice pack, a home run derby choice pack, one prospect pack, and a legend choice pack and three headliners. So it's 20,000 stubs. I think that that's worth it. So I'm gonna buy that. Let's open it up here. Cause here's what my thought is. This finest card is probably worth at least 10,000 ish. And then a home run derby at the bare minimum would be 5,000. So, so that's 15. And then you choose one player. So that's at the bare minimum 5,000. So you have a pretty good chance here to um, break even or gain subs. So th that's why I did that, but you can only buy one of them. And then last but certainly not least, we also have this run it back showdown. So it's the same as the old one, but there's um, new players that you can get such as Josh Hader. So if you go to the market there's also a adam dunn and dennis eckersley card so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like comment down below who you're most excited for in this new update and i'll see you guys next time